Hello everybody. In today's video, I will show you how to call an external API from SAP. I use a post call and pass a file to this API. To test this, I looked for a free service on the website rapidrp.com, which can receive a file via post call. I have already already used the API of this website once when I made a simple GET request from SAP with ABAP. I can link you to this video in the upper right corner. Today, I decided to use the QR code and barcode scanner service. Today, I want to pass a QR code as an image file to this service and read the information encoded in it with ABAP. In a previous video of mine, I created such a QR code and encoded it in it the link to my YouTube channel. So this service provides three post calls, file upload, link file and base64. Today we use the file upload post service. We can test this service. The only thing we have to do is we pick a file a QR code, for example, I pick this one and I click on open. Then I'll click test endpoint. And we see we have a result. This is the response. It's successful. And this is the response. And there are some values in it. For example, field name, type, and the field value. And this is the link to my YouTube channel. So you can uh, generate different code snippets for different program languages. Unfortunately, ABAP is not included and so we have to write this code by ourselves. But I can find all the relevant information here in this HTTP code snippet. So let's open ABAP and we see here a program of mine with some code. I have already created a code to upload a file. In my example today, I want to upload the QR code as image file from my uh, computer. And we see here the file open dialog with a file filter PNG. And then I check the internal table IT files if a file is picked and if yes, I define some variables for the GUI upload. And after the upload, we, I have the, the file in this variable IT bin data. And after that, we have to convert this uh, variable, this solid steps table to a X string. I do this with this class and method with the method um, solix to x string. And after that, I have the file as x string in the variable lv bin data. And we also need the length of this file. And so I need the variable lv length. And we need these two variables later to call the method. So let's start with the API call code here. First, we define the, the URL, the URL of the service endpoint. And I paste this here and we can read this here from this uh, web from the service description, from the code snippet. Next, we define a client object, O client, it's type ref to if HTTP client. Then we create the HTTP object. Create by URL. And here we have some exporting and importing parameters. Exporting is URL is the variable lv underscore URL. Importing is my client object. 
and some exceptions. Then I check if the if the sub RC is uh, zero or uh, when if it's not zero then I have to close the uh, connection. So I write here O client close then and if then I check if the object the client object is bound. Next I set the HTTP method. With O client request set method. I F HTTP request C O request method post. Next, I set the content type with O client request set content type multipart form data and we see this information is all in the http code snippet from the rapidapi.com website so next we set the two header fields first rapid api host and value is the the host name link next we set the header field rapid api key and here we paste the api key after that we create an part object type ref to if http entity Then O part is O client request at multi part. And then we set a header field. It's the content disposition. And we see this here, it's this value. And the value here is form data. Then the name, it's image. And last, the file name. In my case, it's qr underscore code dot png. After that, we call the method set data so o part set data and here we pass the data here i need a variable with my qr code in it okay i forgot to copy this paste and we bin data next offset is zero and length is lv underscore len After that, we call the send method with O client send and we set a timeout here. Timeout is I have HTTP client, CO timeout default. Then we call the receive method with O client receive. After that, I declare two more variables. First, the LV HTTP status of type E and LV status text of type string. Then I call O client response get status. 
importing code is lvhttp status and reason is lv status text and then i write this to variables out with write http status code and the variable next i write the status text and the variable then i check if the status is 200 then i write the response data in my variable lb result get c data is the response then i write the response the label and the content lv result okay and if and after that i close the connection with o client close and and if okay let's pretty print and check the code okay there is a typo i see length and activate the code and run the program then we pick the qr code the png file we open this then we get the message that we upload the file we allow this and here we see the result the response we see the status code is 200 status message is okay and there is no error and we see here the field type and the field value and here we see the link to my youtube channel this link is encoded in the QR code. Yes, as the next step, subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up and write me something in the comments. I would be very happy about it. Thanks a lot and see you on the next video.